the game. What's up guys, Charles Macro here. It's official, the new Fishing Planet Ocean update has finally released. The Kaiji no Ri Ocean update is here. Now what I really wanna know is what you think about it. What do you think about it? Have you had a chance to play it yet? Have you watched it? What's your opinion? Drop that down in the comments. Also, let me know, do you wanna see some gameplay? Do you wanna see some live streams? Let me know if you wanna see me play it. I'll go ahead and get the DLC and we'll jump into it, all right? Now, two DLCs dropped to make it available for you to go fish in Japan. One is $60, one is $40. The $60 one allows you to be there for 60 days. That's a long time of gameplay for you to use. And if the potential to make money is more than a Congo, you should make tons of money, catch tons of fish, get tons of XP. I gotta verify that. And again, if you wanna see it and you let me know, we'll find that out. I'm gonna find out anyway regardless, but I'll expedite the process. So let me know in the comments, okay? The other one is 30 days. That's the $40 one. These DLCs getting up there in cost, but if you've been playing the game for free and you haven't really spent much money on it, it's worth the value of what you're putting into the game. If you think of the cost of Xbox, PlayStation games, and what you spend per title, it gets up there. So let me know in the comments if you plan to get the DLC, if you wanna get out there now. I've currently been doing some bass fishing at Blue Crab Island. I'm gonna tour and do some bass fishing because I've been doing some fishing in real life. I'm gonna put more of my in real life content up as well. Let me know in the comments if you wanna see more of that in real life content. Let me know if you fish in real life and if you want me to come to your pond or your lake and fish with you, that's what I'm trying to do. I caught a seven pound bass the other day. So check out that video here if you want to see that seven pound bass that I caught with my son, all right? The link to that video will also be down in the description. So here's the Japan Odyssey pack. This is the 60 day, a luxury yacht for up to four players, premium gear for trolling and bottom fishing, 300 item tackle wagon, wow. 20 navigation buoys, a 60 day license and premium. You have ample time to make the most of your odyssey in Japan. I mean, that's really not a bad value for what all you're getting, especially getting premium with it and things of that nature. Not that you need it, but it's good to have. These are the two rides that you get. Wow, those are some heavy rides. These are the two reels that you get and the ride case. It only holds two rides, but I don't know if there's a difference for the sea rides or not, let me know. Now you get this yacht, you get this yacht. <laughs> this yacht, four seats, eight ride holders. It's an 18 footer. Okay, 770 horsepower. Wow. And a 661 pound fish storage. These are the lines that you get sinkers, trolling hooks, lures. And then this is a lot of the bait that you get. You also get 20 navigation buoys, 50 marker buoys. There are your pine passes and your license. So again, not bad value for what all you get. All right, so if we look here on the map, here is Kajinori. So if you think of proximity, here's the Selenge River, and then here is Kajinori. Wow, here are all of your fishing species, your albacore, your big eye tuna, the big reef squid. Let's look at the big reef squid in 3D. Oh, look at that, wow. That's on some alien type stuff right there, right? Dog tooth tuna, let's look at that tuna. Oh, that dog too. Let's see. Okay, the giant grouper. Woo! 882 pounds for that giant grouper. That's crazy. How much money do you get for catching that? And that's only a trophy. That ain't even a uni. Good night. Good night. I got to show my son these fish. He'll love these. Ooh, that Pacific bluefin tuna, a hundo, a hundo. Yeah, this gonna be something else. All right, there's the map. Okay, yeah, you gotta use the fishing yacht. For you guys who've been watching this or who are playing this, let me know what you think the biggest differences are in the game and the gameplay. That's one thing I'm eager to see, the gameplay differences. I saw that now you can keep your spool open to let your line drop as in real life before you close the bell, like on your spinner per se, or your bait caster. That's a different mechanic, a slightly different mechanic to help you with your presentation or with floating. But if there are other things as far as the reeling mechanics, the fighting mechanics, let me know down in the comments what you've seen. And then I'll do an update as I play and I find out more myself. Travel cost is 33K, that's not that bad. Okay, you can't buy a license right here. Now what's up with that? Let's look at the licenses through the shop. Okay, there it is. I mean, even the licenses aren't that bad. You just need a boat. 
and can you buy the boat we're gonna look in the shop real quick to see if you can actually buy the boat so that's the clincher right there guys that's the catch there is no way to buy a boat and who knows when they plan to put the boat out will this be totally dlc and you can never buy the boat never play it because what happens when you get to 83 you can't buy the fishing yacht in the shop so this level is basically money lot it's pay lot so what do you think about that let me know what you think about the fact that kaji nori the new ocean fishing planet venue is money locked even if you get to level 83 you cannot play it without spending at least 30 dollars what do you think about that guys that's another video what do you think about that let me know down in the comments man and we can discuss that all right and if you're ready for some of that irl content hit me in the comment box guys i want to do more irl i'm going to do a lot on bass fishing because i am in a bass club and i am enjoying it i'm loving it shout out to the guys in my bass master club man shout out to everybody charles macro fishing planet thank you for stopping through i'm gonna let you peace but i run the game do you need professional photography or videography to capture your special moment? Your birthday party, wedding, corporate event, or church service? Contact CHJ Media Tech. Look us up, chjmediatech.com. We can even help with social media promotion and marketing. Check out CHJ Media Tech, where we fuse creativity and technology to immortalize your special moment.